Hey everyone, so this is the fifth of the five series uh, videos of why candidates are typically turned down during the interview process. So if everyone thinks a match, you have the skills and you don't drift into tangents, you don't command the conversation too much, take it over, you do your research before and you show genuine interest, passion for the position, then what's left is being able to clearly articulate soft skills that relate to the job that you're interviewing for, as well as matching the culture of the organization. So I firmly believe there's a good home for everyone. And sometimes culture can really come down to that, I'm not gonna lie. But at the end of the day, that's a good thing, right? Because you're not gonna like working for the organization if you don't match the company culture. And kind of tied into that is how you approach resilience management. And uh, there's no wrong or right way to do things, but definitely a lot of gray. And the company that you're interviewing for could have a different approach to what you would prefer to do. And then we think about soft skills. Soft skills are so important. It's really hard to articulate demonstrate soft skills on your resume. So it does come down to the interview. And what I mean by that is, you know, having passion for the job, emotional intelligence, situational awareness, and some of those skills are gonna be more important based on the level of opportunity you're interviewing for. So as an example, entry level, our clients are looking for passion, time management, detail-oriented, strong project management skills, mid-tier, all of that, but also emotional intelligence, change agent, being able to elevate the program with training and awareness. And then the high-level jobs, situational awareness is really, really key. So being able to articulate what is gonna work best for the organization, have that client engagement, as well as um, horizon mapping, understanding what kind of culture the organization has and the program, the program that's gonna work best for that organization. And uh, as well as being able to really react when the event occurs, being decisive, being smart, thinking outside the box. So when you answer your questions during the interview, think about how you can answer those questions with sprinkling in the soft skills. And, uh, you know, feel free to reach out to me with any questions. I'm more than happy to help. And also, please participate in our BCM Resiliency Trend Study. We are working on the dashboards now, and they will be published in January. It is data you do not want to miss out on. Understanding how many staff do other organizations similar to yours have dedicated to the program, reporting structures, budgets. It's absolute data that you need for your executives. But those dashboards are only available for those who confidentially participate in the study. So please assign one person who manages a program can be different departments in your company, but manages the program and uh, completely confidential. We don't want your company name. So I hope this is all helpful. Reach out to me with any questions. Thanks so much, bye.